when I want to kill. This is what my dog does. She loves me. See, I'm so crazy, huh? No, I'm just aware that you all need to die. You're like um, a dirty diaper that needs to be changed. That's what I look at society as. A bunch of people with dirty diapers that need to be changed and they refuse to change their diaper. And then they want to tell me I stink because I didn't want to bathe today because there's really nowhere to go. And so, you know, it's like, oh, you're funny. Yeah, yeah, my caca butt does stink. And I don't care because there's no one to smell good for. I don't want to go outside and risk it. Go to some barn where somebody is going to say they don't know what a brushing boot is. Like, come on, if you don't want to pretend, if you want to pretend like you don't know what the words I'm saying mean, that's fine. That's why I'll go somewhere else. And that's why I have discomfort with that lack of information. When someone tells me they don't know what this means or they don't know what that means, and I'm like, okay, so you've been in this thing and you, okay, you know what? You don't know the, what the words I'm saying mean. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the color of our skin. Oh, wow, we're different again. I guess it's not a good matchy match. Okay, let me get the fuck out of here. Because you never want to dumb down your experiences in life to please the dumb people around you. Because then guess what? You're going to start living like you're a dumb dumb. And you're going to believe it because you're not going to have any proof of your own behavior to tell you that you're not a dumb dumb. So you have two choices in life when you get to this part of existing and there's no reason to exist. There are dumb dumbs, and then there's just straight up scum scums. So now you have two groups of people on the planet, in my mind. There's people that are just dumb, that need to die, because they refuse to believe what is told to them to be true, because of whatever reason, their ego just overrides. Just know that the ego for that person says, fuck you, I don't care. And they don't want to do what you say because they just don't all right i'm not gonna want to do what anybody else says right now i don't care what your clinical recommendations are you don't know what it's taking me to be this calm this many years i know what my limits are socially and i know when it's just not a good idea there's nothing to look forward to there's too much new information coming into me. I want to process the new information before I leave my house. You know? I'm like, no, man. I'm not playing. These Chinese people, these Russian people, them Indian people from India, okay, they're over there raping those little six-year-olds and five-year-olds and throwing them in a dumpster and on the buses getting gang-raped. Okay, that's what happens in India in the caste system. They cast you out. You can't go to school if you're born in the wrong social group as, an, as a Hindu. So just get that straight, people. The Hindus aren't all that peaceful, okay? If they accept your monotheistic God, they have to get rid of their social system. So they're never going to accept Jesus, boys and girls. That's why Sad Guru is so quiet and sad. Because he's like, Are, is somebody going to mention that part about us or not? Is she going to talk about us like this and tell everybody about us being like this or not? Of course I am. Just be yourselves. That's all you can be. You know, my mother was herself. I just stay away from people that don't have the same values as me. And that's your solution for world peace. Stop interacting with people and then going to hurt them on purpose, boys and girls. And hey, other boys and girls, just stop interacting with other boys and girls because they want to hurt you on purpose. Everybody, do what you're supposed to be doing. Don't go out to places because there's COVID going on still. Omnicron, Omicron, oh my God, whatever you want to call it. It's called the titty milk's all gone over here. I'm in menopause since 2017. It is now 2022. If you're waiting for someone to get maternal and dare to care about you the way you want to hear your mommy talk to you, you're barking up the wrong damn hoo-ha, mother, father, dear, queers, that are in search for your everlasting love example, you can go to hell, be your own God example of what love should be for unconditional. You know, we love me anyway. And then you just, so what does that mean? <laughs> Why don't you go ask somebody that goes love somebody? Right now I'm just loving myself. I don't love anybody else. It's all I can do to just love myself. And Stella helps me do that because I see her. She's innocent. She's sweet. And then I'm like, look, see, 
That's your inner child right there. Your innocent, sweet inner child that didn't deserve to be in this forced position of, you know, just being your best you, right? That's right. So Stella didn't ask to be trapped in here in my closet. So why am I going to attack my meat suit? Stella didn't ask me to put her in the ASPCA system and then adopt her. I'm so grateful she's decided to not attack me. She's never had a mate. She's never had a boyfriend. Apparently wolves mate for life. And she's never found a mate. I would love for Stella to have a boyfriend. I would love for Stella to have friends. I'm just scared to go out. I really am. I'm scared to go out because I'm scared I'll get disappointed again and want to kill myself. I just know. I just know how I feel. And I'm not going to play with myself like that. I know better. I know when people are doing things on purpose to see if I'll respond or what will she do. I know when my life has turned into a sim lab because I own electronic devices. So what? Why am I going to be angry about that? Edward Snowden already talked about that a couple of years ago. So if you're angry, you can't believe it happened to you. I guess you're not a grown-up. That's part of being a grown-up. It's called foresight. Adolescents live in the land of hindsight. Grown-ups are to live in the land of foresight. Looking ahead, planning ahead, future focusing. You know, we go back for review to see how things are going have immediate long term but we don't stay there and so yeah you guys have just been successfully able to oppress me okay yeah so the bullies won okay so the bullies won because they had more money and they had friends okay and I'm 48 years old and this has been the story of my life so why would I issue a response different than coping like why stop now I mean, I got a pretty Stella dog. You know, I love my Stella dog. I love my pair dog. And so why would I want to stop? Or why would I get upset now? I mean, she's doing great. She loves me. Why would I get upset now? You know, there's nothing to be upset about. She wouldn't want to... She would be scared if I was upset, you know? She'd say, hey, what's the matter? What'd I do for you? Did I hurt your feelings somehow? to make you treat me like you don't want to feed me anymore? I'm just wondering, you know? So, that's a very basic level of care for another creature. She's not demanding. She can't ring a call bell. She can't tell me I'm doing anything wrong. All she can do is fight to get away from my hands, you know, or move away from my voice if I get too annoying on her. But she really doesn't mind me. She just doesn't like it when people are creepy, like angry. She believes that's creepy. Angry people are creepy to Stella. She doesn't like that. If you're angry, she's like, oh, God, get the hell away from me. I didn't do it. I'm going to fuck alone. Because I believe she got kicked and hit and abused really bad. So that's why when she sees somebody getting upset, she's like, oh, I'm going to fuck out of here. I mean, she will literally scram. So I know somebody's unloaded on her. Probably one of my kids. Not so much a kid either. That's why I don't. I don't question. But why isn't Chloe here? Well, would you want to sit with this all day? If you were mean to it? Huh? You don't know what happened in that house when you weren't home so young. I'm like, that's right. I sure the fuck did not. That's why we got surveillance. Because you can't trust your family in America. It's the women. Women. Mm -hmm. People have been playing games with each other. You need to stop that. That's not what America's supposed to be about, boys and girls. Not for you to play with other people's self-determination ever. It was never your role. And if you have been someone that has tampered with someone's ability to self-determine to the best of their ability because of your tampering with your Jezebel stupid shit, just know that this person right here, So Young Owens Mooney, Captain So Young Owens Mooney, Captain Mooney, doesn't give a fuck. Uh-uh. I'm too busy smelling my own new stench. I'm happy with me. I'm happy looking at my puppy. She made me feel happy. I love you. Hey, me. She love me. 
and that's all the approval I need. Any way the wind blows, I'm not. A, there's nothing to be upset about. This is old news. The world sucks again. Okay, whatever. I'm just waiting to be in a better smelling mood. I just, I know that I'm not gonna feel like taking a bath. I know that. I just simply don't want to. I don't, I'm just accepting myself. So when things get real bad, just accept yourself. I don't want to. I'm taking a break. I'm sitting down. That's what you call sitting down. I'm literally sitting down. Lay down, sitting down, lay down, getting grounded. I love going out in my backyard and just putting my feet on the ground. I feel great. I'm fine, man. Nothing to fight about. You fight when you don't know the answers, when you're confused, when you're trying to figure things out. And then when you figure things out, no, no, no. That's when you embrace, hunker down. Hunker down, hunker down, get in it. That's when you get in it, you know? Get in it, hunker down, embrace your funk. Embrace the funk of your own circumstances or have an MI or aneurysm from your own repetitive outrage that's redundant, Rumination, ruminatory, ruminatory, ruminating. It's just not necessary. If you're going to ruminate, ruminate to explore, to expand, to expound. Not to just go with the same sentences. Ruminate to explore, to expand, to expound, and to share in that way. But don't ruminate just with you. Ruminate with others. It's called conversation. That's it. All right. Go and drink some water now. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.